Did you lose your steam? I don't think so. I got a lot of steam. What is wrong? Can I ask you a question? Of course. The night that you had your dinner, I was aggressive towards Jen. Yeah. But you said before that night that I'm mean, that I've changed, and that you don't even recognize who I am. Did I didn't say that. Yeah, no, she didn't. I've say. never well, said that. What did that. she say? It's, she said that you've changed. But no, she's I got not offended. the one that changed. That's You're what changed. it is. Uh -huh. I, you think I've changed? Yes. No. She was all about Katie. Katie was great. She yeah. wanted to bring Katie into this yeah. friend group. She loved Katie. Yeah. Then you had a conversation with Heather, and then you were ready to throw Katie out the door. This girl that I thought was my friend that I've known for 10 minutes now attacking my other friend that I've known for years. If that's the way it is, then goodbye, Katie, because I can't, I'm not going to do this. Well, I was disappointed in, and would you what? be disappointed with her? You knew what she was doing six yeah, but months Heather, before. I promise you, I thought she was a genuine good girl. But I'm your friend You're, for years. You don't know this girl from Adam. And you meet her, and she gives you this bullshit information about me. Look, that All I can tell you my is life. I'm looking at her differently, OK? So I have to ask you, was it? the paparazzi of it all. Okay. Like, can you Let's just, like, because I'll so... admit, like, it sounded, like, a little suspicious. The golf event did not go how I wanted it to. Oh, Gina hung you out to dry. Oh, I know. Two nights before, I went to Gina's house. We were trying on the golf clothes I gave everyone, right? And she was like, look, I don't agree with everything you think, but this is your truth. These are your feelings. I feel like you need to talk to Heather, or I will. But did you feel like Gina hyped you up in the situation? In the moment, no. But I looked over at Gina defending her, and Heather goes, all of us agree this is not true, or whatever she said. And Gina was like, yeah. When all that bullshit came up, every one of us were like, um, it was a joke. Thank you for saying that. I wasn't worried about it. And I was like, I definitely question Gina's motives. She knows that Heather would not be happy about this. Do you not remember Gina sitting at the reunion and saying to Shannon about the CPS thing? Hurts my children, Shannon. My, my children. children. Well, guess what? Fake information hurts my children, too. Aren't my children important? So I don't know what she was doing. Maybe she secretly doesn't like Heather. I remember you sitting with Shannon I'm saying you made a, I picked this bullshit up the about my family and, and I told my children, lady. Shannon, my children, you know that this bullshit paparazzi cheating thing affected my children. When untrue rumors come up, it does trickle down to my family. My kids were calling me last year because their friends are asking them about it. Max has an anxiety issue. She's across the country at school hearing about this from people that she has just met. It's a lot. Shannon making up a rumor about CPS and my children is not comparable to Heather Dubro calling the paparazzi. And if anybody thinks they're comparable, they're an idiot. You don't think that affects my children? You don't trust me. That's what the issue is. Am I perfect? No. But am I no, allowed to I make mistakes? That's... Never with no. you. I'm never allowed to make a mistake. That's bullshit. That's how I feel. No. I thought I was mad. I never said that. <laughs> my intention was not to have a meaningful conversation with my best friend and then get derailed by Heather Debro, but that's fine. She just wants to swoop in there and make it about her, so you can have her. <laughs> There's a difference between Making a mistake in judgment in a moment where there's but so much stress. But that is what I did. No, but I it made went a on. Mistake for... in judgment in a moment. It didn't. But... It went on for less than 24 hours. No, Katie she said she didn't something. call her 10 minutes later. She said she called like months later. She told me, you girls apparently that she called me 10 minutes later and said, "Don't say it. Don't say it." That's not what happened. Right. You're saying it was months later. Yeah. That's bullshit. I called her the no, next day. No, that's important. You, do you know? You told me you called her 10 minutes later. It took me all of 10 minutes. 10 minutes and I called her. And you thought you could squash that. And I said, Katie, do not bring this up. It couldn't have been 10 minutes later. She wouldn't have done it. I was there when Heather and Gina got together, and Gina very much felt like you put her in a very tough position. How did she put her in a bad position? You just Wait a minute. Thing. Gina knew it would not be funny. You got set up. You got set up. You really believe that? I can't actually figure out what Gina's motivation was for wanting me to talk about this. But Tamara's thoughts on it are pretty convincing. So who's lying? You or Katie? Well, I am not lying. Have I ever lied to you before? How do I know? I called that girl up and I said, do not do this. And I don't care what Katie says. You're going to believe that girl over me? You believed her over me. I feel betrayed by you. And I'm having a really hard time. stabbed in the
come back. I understand that you're hurt. I get it that you're not gonna get over it and that's fine. But I need you to know that I'm really your friend. I made a mistake. I did trust someone that perhaps I shouldn't have trusted. And now I am trying to sort that out. I know why Katie has a different timeline. It's because she's lying. Why would I come into this group just lying? And I don't know if it was 10 minutes or two days. It was not 10 minutes. It was not one day. It was not even two days. But I know it wasn't a month. It was weeks. I'm not Alexis. I don't bring bank statements. 